All right, uh, got some big news. The live stream is back up and functioning. What has it been, like two weeks, three weeks? Feels like it's been three weeks. <clears throat> so it's functioning. And here's here's the thing. Oddly, knock on wood, that's not real wood. We're, we're hosed. Behind me? All right. That thing. Anyway, no major issues. It's, get this. I have the old better chat widget back. It's streaming to youtube.com slash Casey the host. It's streaming to twitch.tv slash Casey the host. And here's the deal. If you want to just watch it on my website, go to the burningtruth.us. I've got a blog post with the video right there. And if you watch it on my website at the burningtruth.us, you won't be able to interact with the chat. Uh, but I also have the chat from YouTube and the chat from Twitch all funneling into the exact same chat widget so everybody can see everybody and interact with everybody. It's awesome. So it's working, and I'm stoked to have it back, especially considering it's been down for so long. And I know that a lot of you have been very patient with me while the computer fiasco happened because of Microsoft. So I also get to gloat a little bit, and I always like being able to gloat. And I'm even going to go to a local newspaper to gloat. Hey Joe, what what caused the uh, what have I been saying causes the the vaping illnesses? Black market THC, <clears throat> which has the vitamin E acetate, right? That's what you Correct. cut the black market THC with. And I, I've been saying this for how long now? Like it feels like four it feels months. like it's been at least a year, but yeah, it's like at least four months, yeah. right? So we've had these things happening for about four months, and it was like mm -hmm. right after that that I came out and I said because we had two hundred people that got sick in like one weekend. And everybody's like, oh, my gosh, vaping. And I'm like, okay, here's the deal. Take a step back. In 15 years and in 10 years when this is really popular, nobody has ever gotten sick from vaping. All of a sudden, we have a couple of hundred people being sick. It's one of two things. Either a bunch of people are doing some illegal stuff with it, which we know is happening, or there is a defective product on the market, okay, which happens, all right? It happens with your lettuce. I don't see any of you stopping eating salads. It happens with your chicken. I don't see any of you stopping eating your chicken. That maybe Pete Buttigieg, because he doesn't know how to eat fried chicken. But everybody else just goes, all right, that's one thing. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll move on. We'll look at any regulations or anything that might have to happen with that one particular company. So that's what I told people to do. Be patient. Nobody's ever gotten sick from this before. Clearly something unusual is happening. And naturally, the government, which is um, in bed with big pharma and big tobacco and politicians with big pharma and big tobacco, they all immediately made the push to go after vaping, even though none of the illnesses were tied to over-the-counter vaping products. And Brian Kilmeade and I had a bit of a fight about it at Noise. Uh, I was told by listeners that you, I needed to have a word with Brian, and I let him say a lot. Did I or did I not? I let him just keep going, and I kept looking at the crowd. I just pointed and said, just, just a minute. <laughs> just a minute. I let he and Katie say their piece, and then I just kind of unloaded. And actually, everybody thought that was a really good debate because he and I totally disagree on this. And now, do I send him a text and rub this in his nose, or do I just let it go? Because typ okay, typically, typically I'm very petty, but I genuinely like Brian. Flip a coin. Okay, I'll flip a coin and see if I rub his nose in this. Now let's go to the South Bend Tribune, the local paper who has been pushing the government line on this, that vaping should be banned. Okay, <clears throat> U.S. officials identify the strong culprit in vaping illnesses. Wouldn't you know it? It's vitamin E acetate. Son of a gun. Where have we heard this before? Hmm. The same chemical compound was found in fluid taken from the lungs of 29 patients. Did you see that one guy just had a double lung transplant because of this? Look, I'm, I'm pro-weed, but don't ruin your life with this stuff, okay? Uh, 29 patients across the country, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention said the compound, vitamin E acetate, was previously found in liquid from electronic cigarettes and other vaping devices used by many of those who got sick. This is the first time they found a common suspect in the damaged lungs of patients, officials said. No, it isn't, because I read the report that was released almost two months ago, which said the same damn thing. <laughs> it's not the first time. We are in a better place in terms of having one very strong culprit, said the CDC's Dr. Ann Shuchat. Uh-huh. Uh, now, the agency says, we can't rule out other toxic substances. 
Yes, you can. I mean, I know you have a job to do and you're going to keep doing it. But if you are a reasonable adult who is capable of thinking beyond a fifth, uh, not even fifth grade, five-year-old's level, you understand that this is the problem. Okay? I've been telling you this for months. Everybody else has been telling you this for months who, are, who know this field. Everybody who has gotten sick did illegal black market THC through their vaping device. Even the stupid kid whose parents are blind enough to think their sweet little angel has never done dope before, admitted in a USA Today article that he did, in fact, use black market homemade THC capsules. Was it capsules? Is that what they call them? Whatever. Pods uh, in his device. Okay? Even he admitted it. And he's suing Jewel. Okay? He's suing Jewel for his lung damage. But even he admitted he was using the illegal stuff. So it's important that everybody understand this one critical fact. It is exhausting being this right all the time. Exhausting. Okay? It, I just... I'm trying to... I'm literally trying to save people's lives here. It's... It, okay. Put, okay, put yourself in my position. I, Joe's laughing, but put yourself in my position. I do not vape. I do not have a vaping endorsement of any kind. Okay? Although the new CBD lotion is made by Juice Mafia, who also happens to be affiliated with eCig Works. But that's a separate product. And I don't have any vested interest in vaping whatsoever. None. Not a financial component. Not any kind of a personal habit component. Nothing. I'm just trying to give you the information that is out there so you don't die by smoking cigarettes. We all know cigarettes kill you. Okay, we all get that. There is a huge debate about secondhand smoke because you were lied to about secondhand smoke most of your life. Okay, but beyond that, we all know cigarettes are bad. So, should we or should we not be endorsing or promoting a product that gets people off of cigarettes more effectively than anything else? You realize the next closest substance, or I should say product, because substance isn't the right way to phrase it. The next closest product that gets people off of smoking cigarettes is only 50% as effective as vaping is. Think about that. It's 50% as effective. Vaping is by far and away the best method to do this. Now, do I like kids running around and sucking this stuff down and blowing smoke and all that other stuff, whatever they're doing? Um, yeah, I'm just going to start calling it uh, running coal. It just seems appropriate. Um, do, do I think that that's a healthy thing to do? No, but I also don't think sucking down Taco Bell all the time is a healthy thing to do either. And if you ask me, the science is pretty darn clear. Sugar and fast food are a heck of a lot more dangerous than vaping is. But if you're going to go ahead and do it, I would rather you do this than smoking a cigarette. And I'm okay with putting restrictions on, on minors under the age of 18 who are, who are vaping, okay? I'm okay with that. But let's be honest about what is actually happening here. Vitamin E acetate, I told you that this was the case for months now. That is what the CDC now says it is. They have no other suspects. There's no other correlation. Literally everybody in the news who has been tied to this thing has done illegal black market THC products. Every single one of them. There has been no association with these vaping illnesses to legal over-the-counter, regulated vape juice or products. None. And by the way, we say, well, Juul's being sued because people are using Juul's case. You can't say over-the-counter products. Look, when I take a Juul device or I take a vaping device and then I modify it, that's not over-the-counter anymore. I have now modified it. If you have a gun and you take it and you modify it to be an SBR, the ATF doesn't go, oh, yeah, well, that was over-the-counter, so we're good. That's not what happens, okay? It's not the same product. So once again, the CDC confirms that Casey Hendrickson is right. You all owe me an apology. You're welcome, America. I'm just trying to save your lives. We have more coming up. News Talk 95.3, Michiana's news channel.